I just Richard. So last night I did just receive my uh, HDMI video capture device. This is the 3.0 USB. They say it's 1080p and it will pick up both audio and video. I got this off Amazon for $79.99. Um, they say it's plug and play. We're going to see how this goes. I'll, I'll show you guys a quick way to set it up. That way you guys can be up and running. And then remember, you do have to find tweak just like with OBS or with any other video capture device. But for right now, we'll do initial setup. But this one did come with a warning. It did say that this unit does not record HDCP copyright content. Uh, after reading some of the reviews, they did say that the way you can get around this is to use an HDMI splitter. So, we have an HDMI splitter. I do recommend get yourself a USB extension. That way it'll plug in. That way you're not crawling around behind everything. It's way too easy. Just let this hang behind the TV when you need something. Plug it in. You don't need it. Just tuck it up in the way. Uh, with this, you also need three HDMI cables. One to run from the unit to the splitter. One from the splitter to the capture device. And then from the computer back into your TV. With that being said, we will open up the box now. So it comes with a HDMI to USB manual. I looked through it real quick. It doesn't seem all that hard. It does recommend that you download VLC and use VLC for it. But I got it to work with OBS also. So no problems there. Literally, this is all it comes with. $80 for one little unit. Pulled out plastic. It has USB 3.0 to HDMI in. So from your console, it comes through here. Um, but you do need that splitter in between in order to get over the copyrighted content. So with that being said, it will go from console through the splitter through here and then into the computer. So with that being said, let's do this setup. Hey guys, I know you can see me in the reflection, so with that being said, I have to do it this way because I cannot show you how to run it in VLC and then OBS directly afterwards. They kind of don't want to get along, so with that being said, if you want to come up to Media, click on Media. Come down to Open Capture Device. From there... You are going to leave direct show alone. Video device name. Come down to USB video device. Same thing with audio device. You want to pick it up from the microphone USB audio device. And click play. Boom. We are up and running. And it's up on the big screen. So. Let me get out of this. Let me come over to OBS Studio. Those of you that have not used OBS Studio, uh, I'm on display capture right now. But, I want to go to a video capture device too. So when you click on this, there I am, top left, can, uh, top left corner. This is integrated webcam. You want to do it with that, and then you also want to do it one more time and have it select the USB video device. After you do that, boom. You have it. Way too easy. I have the remote here. If I press start, it's up. I want to go to Mario C. Boom. You guys are up and running. See, I'm lagging a little bit. 
Also, to help to cut down on the lag, what I did was, being I'm, I am using the splitter, I went from the splitter directly back to the TV, and the other part of the splitter feeds right into the computer, so... Don't forget to subscribe. 